Chairman of NESG, Olani Yusu, welcomed the economic reforms announced by the Tinubu administration, specifically with respect to fuel subsidy removal, foreign exchange rate harmonization, food security, and palliatives to subnational governments. The NESG chairman pledged that the NESG would work with the newly inaugurated cabinet to achieve the eight point agenda of the administration. Looking backwards, is retrogressing for any format. Looking forward can give you only leaps that will propel you in the right direction. We need big tanks on agriculture. I, I, I don't see why Nigeria have be so blessed with green grain and good soil and not have a commodity exchange. I don't see why we have not been able to interrogate our real estate sector and to it. I don't see how we have not used consumer credit to build in, in, you know, purchasing power of our people and the capacity for the manufacturing sector. I don't see why extremely in need of thinkers and doers. Mm. And what you have come about is teaching. Nigerian Economic Summit Group will not be, if you don't believe, in being one team that can uh, bring Nigeria to the land of promise. Uh, I've said that there are quite a number of other action steps, other reforms that we are all eager and waiting. Um, and we are glad again that the FEC, the Central Cabinet, has not been inaugurated. Uh, we'll be working with quite a number of our colleagues in the ministries to push some of your reforms agenda along the eight point um, agenda, which in our view speaks to the critical issues affecting us as a nation, from insecurity to economic growth to job creation, and of course to an enabling environment for the private sector. The key metric that is required for private sector investment is macroeconomic stability. Of course, we include security in there macroeconomic stability and you have already as was recognized by the chairman you have already set this country on the path towards that stability by what you have done in correcting the distortions on the fiscal side you've reduced the huge leakage that was preventing the government uh, revenue to be anywhere near what is required. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.